my glass says lit on it. Let's get lit. Hi Star Babies, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you my very first Valentine's Day look, which is this. Obviously I know a lot of you have said that red was your go-to color for Valentine's Day, but I kind of incorporated the red with the reddish brown tones. And then I did pink glitter over top, which I think came out really well. And this is a perfect look for a romantic dinner or maybe a date to the movies, something in the evening maybe. Um, so make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't, and make sure to comment down below any ideas you have, anything you might be doing for Valentine's Day. Hopefully it's appropriate. Um, and yeah, make sure to follow my Instagram and my Twitter will be right here. My Facebook will be linked down below. And let's get right into the tutorial. Starting off with the eyes, I'm going to be going in with my Max Soft Ogre Paint Pot and a Real Techniques fluffy brush. I'm just going to prime my eyelids to give me a clean slate to work with. And of course, to set the base, I'm going to be using Max Blanc Type and a Real Techniques flat brush. The purpose of me doing this is because it does make it easier to blend shadows over shadows rather than shadows onto a cream base. I have a bunch of shadows out everywhere, so I'm just going to be like grabbing from each palette. I will link every shadow I used in the description box just in case you get lost or you don't want to see my nasty palettes. Sometimes they're kind of gross. But, don't worry, I got you boo. I will link it. I will be using a Morphe palette, which is the Morphe 35W. For those of you who don't know, Morphe doesn't name their shadows in the palettes, so I have no idea what they're called, but I will link down the palette below. Taking my MAC 224 brush, I will be grabbing a reddish brown shade and sweeping that all over the upper crease. This will be your transition shade. And you're just gonna blend, since this is gonna be a very romantic, smoky eye look, you're gonna wanna blend it everywhere. After you have that blended all over your crease, I'm gonna be taking Sienna by Anastasia Beverly Hills, and this is a very, oops, a brick reddish, maybe earth red, it's a dark red, red brown shade and you're going to pick that up on the same brush and you're going to focus this on the outer third of the eye. You're not going to bring it all the way in like you did with your other brown color. So you're just going to bring it here and stop about where the pupil is. And you're not really going to wing it out, you're just going to keep it nice and round and smoky. Next, taking my MAC 217 brush, I'm going to pick up the color Fudge, also by Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's a beautiful fudge color, it makes me want brownies. Yum. And here you are going to deepen up your crease more. This color you kind of want to be careful with because it is darker. If you add too much, you will take away some of the dark red colors you have going on. So, you're going to focus this also on the outer third and bring it in the same distance you brought in the other color, but you're just going to put it on a little bit below. So, we'll pack it on here and then bring it in. What I like to do, because my crease sometimes hides, I like to grab it, my mirror from afar and look down and then just map out my crease and then open and kind of fill it in. Once you have the least amount of product on your brush, you're going to slide it all the way to the inner corner. And again, you're not going to add any more product. You want it very minimal here. Next, grabbing my Morphe M441 brush, I'm going to take Soft Peach, which is also by Anastasia, and I'm going to run that above all the colors just to blend everything out. To have a seamless blend. Also bring it into the inner corners. 
And then going back with your MAC 224 brush, you're going to grab Sienna one more time and brush that above fudge just in case you lost it. And that'll bring you some more reddish brown color back into the picture. You're taking minimal product, not too much, and using a very light hand. Next, going into my Lorac Pro Metal Palette, I will be grabbing a shimmery rose gold color and taking that on my MAC 252 brush. I am going to spritz my... Okay, I missed my brush. <laughs> my brush with some Fix Plus just to get a lot of intensity of the shadow. And I'm going to pack that onto the lid. You could leave the look just as is like this, but if you want to be a little bit more on the glam, a little bit more on the glam side, you can take, um, wow, how do you even say this? You can take this MAC pigment here. It's a very pink, glittery pigment, perfect for Valentine's Day. Putting this pigment on top of the rose gold will definitely bring out more of the rose gold tones. Taking the same brush and spritzing it one more time so the pigment will stick on. You'll just put it right over top of that rose gold eyeshadow. And then once you have the pigment on, you're just gonna take the M441 brush by Morphe and dust the crease away to remove some of excess glitter. Going back into your MAC M217 brush, taking fudge and just deepening it up on the outer edge. Just in case if you kind of overdid it with the glitter, like me. And that'll give you some nice definition. One more time. Now for the liner. The liner is also an important part of the look. Just taking, you could take any black liner you have and make a fierce swing. Fierce swing. You want to cut your date. I mean, you don't want to cut your date. Just gonna fill in my eyebrows. Nothing too special. I use Anastasia's Dip Brow Pomade in the color Dark Brown. Honestly, don't drink coffee before you do makeup. It gets me so shaky and I'm just like, stand still. Stand still, damn it. And then I just fully threw through the stuff, through the stuff in my brows to get them nice and in place. And then I put tinted brow gel over the brow hairs. To highlight the brow bone, I'm going to use the same Blanc type eyeshadow and just pack it on on the brow bone again to highlight. And then I'm just going to curl my eyelashes and prep them for my falsies because I better go big or go home. I'm just going to be using Tarte's Lights camera. Flashes, lashes, not flashes. I always say flashes, and just coat my eyes. Who really makes such a gross face? You know why though? Because that's when your mouth, when your mouth is relaxed, your whole body is relaxed. For falsies, you already know. Tummy wispies. Once your lashes are on, I'm going to take an angled brush and some black eyeshadow. Doesn't matter, any black eyeshadow. And just place that over the lash band to hide any glue residue. When you're done, you're going to take a makeup remover wipe and wipe off all the excess fallout. For the rest of the face, I'm just going to do, since I have been breaking out a little bit on my cheek, I haven't really been wearing foundation foundation, just my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer and some MAC powder. So that's what I'm going to be doing. Obviously, you can stick to your foundation routine 
whatever yours may be. And I just use this to cover up my dark circles and the redness in my cheeks. And then I just blend it all away with a beauty blender. What is this actually? The mineralized skin finish. I'm just gonna take a Kabuki black top brush. Mm. Puff that into the skin. Also setting my concealer. Take some banana powder from the contour kit I have and brush that underneath my eyes just to brighten it up. Bronze up the skin, of course. Max give me sun. I really like it. And just put that in the hollows of your cheeks. And blend upwards. For highlight, I'm going to be taking Benefit's What's Up Creamy Highlight and placing that over the tops of my cheeks. I'm also going to be placing that on the tip of my nose. I love putting highlight there. It looks so pretty. It's like a beacon of light. To set that highlight, I'm going to be using Mary Luminizer by The Balm. Also on top of my nose. Ooh, look at that! And then I'm also going to be taking a small brush and placing that on the inner corners of my eyes. Next for blush, I'm going to be using Cabana Boy by The Balm. It's a very pretty mauve tone blush. So I'm just going to be adding some of the mascara and putting that on my bottom lashes. For lips, I'm going to be using Max. Strip down lip liner and lining my lips. Over top of that, I'm going to be using Max. Hold on, I always have trouble. Cream sheen. It's a very light pink nude with a sheer finish. And of course, you're going to want to stay like this all night. Am I right? So you're going to take your Max Fix Plus. And spray that on. The issue I have is always getting it in my hair and then it gets all gross. So I just kind of like pull my hair back. And that is the completed look, guys. I hope you like it. And stay tuned for next week on a different Valentine's Day look. Hopefully I'll get another one out. I love Valentine's Day. It's such a pretty, cute, and girly holiday. I'm just like, oh. Candy and love. Okay, so... See you next, no, I'll see you on Sunday. Starby's suggesting Sunday. <laughs>